All right, this one's gonna be on restoring sessions for W3M web browser. So last time we did this was restoring tabs, but uh, I wanted a way to do uh, sessions and I finally figured it out here. But uh, let's say we open one here. Uh, what was that? Open our bookmarks here. And let's say I open a couple of pages here, right? One, two, three. We got Hacker News down here somewhere. Where's Hacker News? What was that? There you go. So if I open, um, you know, some of these sites in here. Okay, we got this one. All right, so you get the idea that we have uh, a bunch of tabs open. <clears throat> and you can see that, um, you know, you can scroll through them and all that. Now, if you want to exit out of, you know, W3M, uh, the default way is not, not going to save anything. So what you want to do is, uh, let's say, for example, um, now, if you want to make this like, you know, the, the correct order, what you should do is that you want to go to the first tab and then close it. Otherwise, it'll be out of order. Like if you st if you start it here, um, and you close it here, it will start from this tab. So if you want to be like um, the actual uh, same order, then you should you know jump to your first tab here, which is Hacker News here, right? And if I quit out of this, which is uh, my hotkey is Shift and Q, and it'll quit out of it, right? And now uh, I have this command or this script uh, that will generate, which is just called W3M last session. And when you do that, it will actually open up all the tabs uh, in the correct order, or I think it should be, <laughs> right? Uh, so there you go. Hacker News is our number one again. Now, if you do it out of order, let's say, for example, this uh, W3M here, right? This page, it will start from there. So when you start up the session again, uh, W3M will be your first tab. So that's why, you know, I tell you guys to go to the first tab. Um, in W3M, there's no way to actually jump to, um, you know, number one, which is Hacker News here. So if you quit out of this uh, and you're at a different tab besides number one, this will be, uh, you know, your number one when you start up again. So let's say, for example, I quit out of this, Shift and Q. Right, and I start up the session again. Uh, you can see that W3M should be our number one now, right? So that's just how it is uh, with the script because there's no way to actually jump to a, uh, you know, tab one in our, um, what's that, W3M? There's no function to do that. Anyways, uh, pretty simple. And, you know, you can actually open more tabs. Um, by default, I set it to 30, which I don't think a lot of people are gonna have 30 tabs, you know, with W3M. Uh, the most I have ever used was like around 25 or something like that, but you know, I put 30 there um, just in case. And um, so there you go, we have more tabs now, right? So if I quit out of this, let's say I quit, it should remember all of those. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with my script. I might have to check it up later. But you see, look at that. It opens everything again, right? Anyways, uh, how did this thing work? So the script is uh, make sure you put this into your uh, was it uh, your home folder dot w3m cgi dash bin and this one is just called restore session uh, cgi here. And let me show you what you need to do here. So you do need a binding in your W3M um, key map, right? And this is the binding. Uh, pretty simple. It's just key map uh, capital Q here. So you have to do shift and Q to execute this command. But we're doing a command and um, it's basically going to write out the URL of each tab. So the first tab is just going to, you know, clear out the... Um, 
the previous uh, sessions txt here so the url and the next one is going to go to the next tab and it's going to repeat the same process but uh, every link after that is just going to be appending it so that's why you have the double arrows here the first one is just clearing it out so that's why we're not appending it we're just going to clear it out so that's why it's one arrow but everything afterwards is just um you know uh two arrows here for appending it and at the end um where is the end here At the end here, it's gonna do a uh, what was that? The uh, reach shell here. It's gonna execute this um, uh, script, like this script that we have here. And basically, the script is gonna what's the script does? Um, it's gonna create you know a, uh, a folder here for uh, w3m uh, slash bin, and inside it, we're gonna put you know our generated. Uh, WDM last session command and the last session command is just uh, going to output um, what was that whatever your URL is and this is going to be your command so it's going to do W3M dash N and then you know the, the URL of whatever you have in your last session and this is how it's going to look like uh, in that W3M last uh, session um, script and then you can execute it, you know, when we want to resume uh, our last session. Pretty simple. Uh, as far as the script, this is it. It's just using, uh, what is that, sed, awk, and core util stuff. That's about it, right? Um, anything else in there? So that one's for the, you know, the hotkey that you need to bind. But you also need to uh, put this into your shell RC. So uh, for this one is for bash and Z shell here. You want to put this in your path variable uh, Just because you know when we generate our um, What is that our W3M last session? We don't want to like uh, Use the absolute path. We just want our variable um, Or our script into our path variable here, right? And then uh, if you want to uh, call your last session, um, all you do is just run your command WDM last session. And that's it. Pretty simple. Anywho, uh, that's it. All you got to do is, you know, you know, uh, download the script and do your hotkeys and pretty much uh, it for uh, how you would use this. And I like it so far. I just, you know, came up with it a few hours ago. And it works uh, fine. Hopefully, um, if you find any errors or you want to improve it, let me know. Um, and we can improve it. But yeah, so this one works really well. You know, you can open uh, tons of pages. And if you ever want to uh, restore it uh, where you left off, you know, then you can actually do that. Right? And why is it giving me this syntax error? I gotta check that later, but uh, it still works, hopefully. Look at that, all those uh, pages, and <laughs> it loads it up back up again. Anyways, that's it for this one. Uh, just something I just came up with. Um, it was pretty simple using those, um, you know, macros and stuff like that. That'll be it for this one.